Hi everyone, welcome to Bot Sailor. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to create a click to WhatsApp ad campaign from inside your Bot Sailor account, integrate icebreaker questions, and link them with automated bot replies. For this tutorial, I will show how to set up a Facebook ad campaign to redirect leads on WhatsApp. Let's dive right in. First, open up your Bot Sailor dashboard. From the left-hand menu, scroll down until you see the WhatsApp section and click on Click Ads. Once you're here, click on the Create button to start a new ad campaign. This is where you enter your campaign details. Start by giving your campaign a name. I'll call this one 50% off promo. Next, choose your campaign objective. You can pick outcome engagement, sales, or traffic. For this demo, I'll stick with outcome engagement. Leave the special ad category as none, unless your ad is about sensitive topics like politics or credit. Finally, make sure your campaign status is set to active and click next. Now let's move on to the ad set. Here, set your bid amount, I'm going with one. Then select your budget type, either daily or lifetime. For this one, I'm choosing daily budget. Next, choose your optimization goal. I'm setting it to impressions, which helps drive more chats. Now select your Facebook page. Just make sure the page is already connected to your WhatsApp Cloud API number, or else the ad won't link properly to WhatsApp. Lastly, set the start and end time for your campaign and confirm that the status is active. Now it's time to choose who sees your ad. You can select countries or group of countries. Here, I selected countries and added Bangladesh, United States, and Canada as my target locations. You'll also see options for tags and custom audience. These are optional. Click next to continue. This is the fun part, designing your ad. Enter your ad header, your main text, and the description. I already have mine written, so I'll just paste them in. Next, upload your ad image. Make sure it's visually engaging and relevant to your offer. Now, let's take a closer look at the WhatsApp greeting message setup. Here, you'll notice two options, greeting with an autofill message and greeting with icebreakers. Icebreakers are customizable, tappable text prompts that appear at the beginning of a chat, making it easy for users to start a conversation with predefined options. You can choose to type a simple greeting message, like I've done here. This message will automatically appear when a user clicks on your ad. But for this demonstration, let's go with the second option, greeting with icebreakers. I'll go ahead and select it. Now, I'll fill in the greeting text, aligning it with the theme of my icebreaker questions. To make things easier, I've already copied both the greeting message and all four icebreaker questions into my notepad. Let's start adding them one by one, for example, interested in the white label package, and so on. Once I've added all four icebreaker questions, I'll click next. Before we proceed with the final steps, there's one important configuration we need to complete, activating the icebreaker automation from your business manager. This is WhatsApp's default automation feature, and it needs to be enabled manually. Let me walk you through the steps. Open a new tab and go to Bot Sailor dashboard In the WhatsApp section, click Connect Account. As you can see, this is my business account, Shopping Mart. From here, click Manage. Scroll down to Phone Numbers. On the Phone Numbers page, go to the top right corner and click the Settings icon. Now click on Automation. You'll now see the options for icebreakers and commands. Click Edit on the right-hand side. Here, I'll start adding the same icebreaker questions that I used in the ad campaign. After entering all four, you'll see a mobile preview showing exactly how it will appear to users. Now click Save. All right, now that we've covered the initial setup, let's move on to the next important step. From your dashboard, click on Bot Manager and let's create new bots for each of our icebreaker questions. It's important to ensure that each bot's keyword is identical to the corresponding icebreaker question. This way, when a customer clicks on an icebreaker option, the bot flow is instantly triggered, sending them the appropriate predefined response. Now, in the Start Bot flow, simply double-click the element, enter the first icebreaker question as the keyword, and assign a title for your flow. 
For this demonstration, I'm going with a simple text response for the first answer. But in your case, feel free to design the bot flow as needed, whether it's text, media, or quick replies. I'll continue adding the rest of the questions in the same way. For the fourth question, I'm going to include a CTA URL button to redirect users directly to our pricing plan page. Here I'll provide a header, body message, footer text, button label, and paste the target link in the button URL field. Once done, click save to save this particular flow. Now let's head back and refresh the page. As you can see, all the bots have been successfully created and added. Since our icebreaker feature is enabled and the bot flows are now active, we're ready to wrap up the ad campaign setup. Let's jump back to where we left off. Change the ad status to active, click next, and then click finish. Your ad is now scheduled to go live at the predefined date and time. You'll see the ad status marked as published, which confirms everything is properly set. Now let's explore the ad campaign section a bit further. From here, you can monitor key ad metrics like impressions, clicks, spend, reach, CTR, and more. You can also make edits to your campaign right from this option. Let's preview how the ad will look to your audience. On the mobile feed standard view, you'll see the ad header and description displayed just right. And here's the WhatsApp button. When someone taps it, they're instantly redirected to your WhatsApp chat. That's the power of click to WhatsApp ads. Now checking the desktop feed standard view. Everything looks great here too, with the WhatsApp button clearly visible. And finally, over on Instagram standard view, everything aligns perfectly as well. Now, let's test the icebreakers to ensure everything is working smoothly. I'll open a new WhatsApp chat from WhatsApp web. And as you can see, all the icebreaker questions automatically appear. Let me click the last option, the one where I added the CTA URL button. And there it is. The response is triggered exactly as we set it in the bot flow. Everything's working perfectly. So now, every time someone clicks on your ad, not only will they land in your WhatsApp inbox, they'll also be greeted with automated icebreaker prompts, creating a seamless and engaging customer experience from the very first click. That's it for today's tutorial. Be sure to subscribe and keep an eye on our channel for more insightful videos like this. And as always, feel free to reach out to our support team for any further assistance. Thanks for watching and happy automating.